Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for Moritz Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Melody Bud, the recent um, uh, MIDI generative uh, sequencer released by Jam OK. As you would expect, as many other applications from Jam, it's um, fully AUV free compliant. It can be run on standalone mode, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to run inside AU. Um, the um, one of my favorite, yeah, I would say, or my main favorite mixer. Before I start, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe unless you already done so, as it helps with growing the channel. So let's kick off. The first thing you want to do is to add an audio channel and a MIDI channel. Let's select as an uh, audio uni extension. Uh, something new, like for example, why not, Animug Z. And let's choose also a nice preset. Perhaps not this one, uh, it's too much going on. Let's just go for the default. Nice and simple. Then, on the uh, MIDI channel, let's choose a MIDI processor and let's find the melody bud. Now when you connect the two, so, and that's how you do it, unless you already know. So we have now connected Melody Bud to Animug Z. So let's expand the Melody Bud. So first thing first, let's go through the interface. As you can see in the middle, you have a number of steps, in this case, one to eight, but those can be changed. On the left hand side, you have different modes, note, octave, velocity, gate, ratchet, and glide. Here on the bottom left, you, are, you have a dial to change the rate at which um, these steps are played. And then you have the selection of patterns. And if you are familiar with uh, previous application um, from the BUD series, you find that this is quite common. And then depending on what you choose, the mode, you have different options down here in terms of additional functionality related to that particular mode selected. And of course you have some settings here on the bottom right. So how does it work? Well, you click on uh, the screen for each step. And as you click, depending on which step uh, vertically you click, you have a different note. And when you've done that, you just click play. And um, as you can see, you have um, um, notes which are um, generated at the moment. And they are the same which you, in, in terms of what you clicked on uh, on the screen. Let's make it a little bit, actually. Why not? Let's make it like so. So the first question might be, uh, why the eight steps? Well, you can increase them, clicking on the plus sign or decrease them like so, or you can click on these uh, symbol as well here and just say, okay, I don't want eight, but I want 12 steps. And you have four added. And the same way you can also decrease them. So you can say I want eight. And in that case, you can remove the last uh, uh, one added in. So just remember that because when you, they're gone, they're gone. Next, you might be wondering, um, okay, can I choose different notes? Um, why is it that on the first step I have a C, for example? Well, so what you can do is if you stay in note mode, you can click down here where it says note and it will show you the notes that is using, okay, for the scale. And those are also, uh, sorry, for the scales that is being used and for the notes which belong to that scale, which you can use the four on the steps. What you can also do is um, limit those and that becomes important when you use the random functionality. Now, if you click on done and you go on settings, you find that you can change the scale and the key. So for example, you, let's go to C minus, we leave the key to C and we select the scale as minor. As I've done so, you can see the changes. You have now an E flat and A flat and B flat corresponding on the steps. And also if you click on the notes, you find that the notes available have changed there as well in terms of the accident or the flat accidents which have been added to E, A, and B. Okay, 
Um, so let's make it a little bit more interesting. Here you have uh, um, a dial, which is possibility or probability. So these establish um, if um, steps will be played. And at the moment, I'm acting on uh, all the steps, but uh, I show you in a moment the ability to actually change parameter for a single step as well, which is really, really cool. Next, we have a random function. So let's say that uh, I want to randomize um, the creation of notes. So I set it at random to the value that I wish so. And let's do an example to make it very clear. So let's have all the same notes, see? And let's click play. We have random to 77%. So let's see what happens. So as you can hear, different notes are actually being um, generated uh, based uh, on uh, the random setting down here. So, and that's um, that's quite interesting because in this case, um, you can create the interesting melody just, um, uh, just using the random function. Now, let me show you something different now. So let's uh, create another melody um, bud instance, like so. And let's create also another audio channel. And let's select as an audio uni extension ISM from Arturia. And let's make the connection with the second instance of Melody Bud, like so. Now, let's choose a preset, like a bass. OK, that sounds OK. Let's try others as well before I decide. For this one actually, and let's choose um, the crease a little bit the output level. Okay, now let's go to the second melody instance. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the steps um, as they were in the other instance, but this time I'm going to change um, the settings only on particularly um, steps. So, and um, let me show you how that works. So, for example, let's say that I want alternating note. I want uh, like a pedal effect we see every other note. And then I want something different on step two, four, six, and eight. So you click on step two. You can see everything goes orange here, which means uh, those are parameters related to mainly that particular step. Let's set the randomness to quite high like so and let's remove also the note C so I avoid the note I avoid the note C being repeated in there and actually let's set the scale and the same as in the first instance of melody bud okay let's repeat that uh, on the next steps as well so for step four for step um, six as well and last one for step number eight like so, so let's play now. Actually, before I play, let's change the rate. Let's make it um, a little bit slower. Otherwise, it will go the same speed as the other instance of Melody Bud. So, quite nice. The next thing I want to show you is octave. This is where you choose your octave for one step or for all of them. And as well, you have different settings here. At the bottom, you can choose uh, randomness and also minimal and max value for uh, the randomness as well. In my case, what I want to do, I want to go up an octave here, like so, every alternating step to make it more interesting. And if you want to hear that a little bit better, let's mute this one and let's try again. Actually prefer that the preset why not okay <clears throat> let's continue so let's go back to the first instance of melody bud so we have seen notes and we have seen uh, octave uh, as well next time uh, you have velocity so velocity in terms of intensity of notes being played 
works again in a similar way to other modes. You can set it uh, for all the different steps, or you can also randomize it. Again, you have a random dial, min, and a max dial as well. Now, in terms of melody, what I want to do, I want to set it to maximum. Why not? And I'm going to give it a little bit of variance, something like um, around 10% and a minimal value of around 80 and a maximum of 100, something like that, maybe 70, just to humanize it a little bit as well. So let's unmute the first channel and let's click play. Okay, perfect. So let's continue the journey. So the next thing I want to do um, show you, let's go to the second instance of Melody in Bud, which is driving the uh, bass sound. So let's go to gate and the gate establish how open and close the gate for each step is so how long that note is pressed. Uh, by default is 50%. Uh, Again, you can randomize it. You can have a minimum and maximum value. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, open up to maximum the steps which are corresponding always to my note C, which are not affected uh, by randomization, like the uh, odd steps practically, while the even steps are affected by randomization as we have set already. So let's try. So hopefully you can hear um, that uh, the gate is different between different steps. But what becomes even more interesting is if you use the ratchet function, which is the number of repetition for that note in the particular step. So by default is set to one. And again, you can randomize that. So what I'm going to do on the even step, I'm going to move that to two. So there will be two notes. So let's try. And to make it even more interesting, on the last one, I'm going to set random to around 70% and see what happens. So you can see that it is totally random numbers, step number eight. So that's quite cool, um, isn't it? Um, next, you have also the ability to uh, set glides. And this sends uh, me the CC number five. You need to have a synth or an app that can receive those MIDI messages to actually create the different sounds. Not all apps do that. So just um, um, try and find the app that, of course, works in the particular way. Um, finally, what I want to show you is if I go back to the first instance of Melody Bud, that um, you can create pattern. So you click and hold on pattern number one and you copy it. Then you click on plus to create a new one. Then you click again and hold on the second one, click paste, and we've created a new one. And on this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the pattern for the notes and I'm going to also change the octave to five, so which will make it very, very different. So let's try. And you can switch between one to the other pattern, of course, clicking on them. Or what you can do, you can go in settings and check the pattern CC number, and you can use that CC MIDI message to change the pattern. And of course, you need to ensure that you are using the right channel, which you can also change. You can see here, you have a MIDI channel selection. So let's try um, switching from the first one to the second one. Let's unmute these as well.
prefer it with a little of uh, a drum for your bit. So as you can see, it's very straightforward how to use melody but and you can use it to create all your different melodies and even your composition, so a lot of selection. The last thing I have um, not mentioned is that you can clear your current pattern here on the settings, so clear everything. And you also can change the knob control style from being horizontal, vertical, horizontal and vertical and rotary, depending on your preference. And there is also an inbuilt short tutorial which gets you started. All right, okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, check it out because it's a great app and it's nice to have these just being released uh, um, at Christmas time. Thank you very much. Bye.